Listen up, soldiers. You signed up to serve, to protect, to be more than you were yesterday. But are you ready to lead? Forget push ups and obstacle courses for a moment. We're talking about the mental muscle, the grit that separates those who follow orders from those who inspire action. Today, we're cracking open the 11 principles of leadership, the battle tested guidebook used by the fiercest warriors throughout history. We're talking Alexander the Great, Sun Tzu, and yes, even our own Filipino heroes who fought with unmatched courage and strategy. But here's the twist. This isn't just about legendary figures. This is about you. Because leadership isn't about being the loudest or the strongest. It's about self-awareness, making the tough calls, and empowering those around you to become a force to be reckoned with. It's the difference between being just another soldier and becoming a commander who leads troops to victory. Are you ready to step up, to take charge, to unleash the leader within? Then lock and load, because this is your boot camp for greatness. It's time to discover the principles that can transform you from a recruit into a warrior, a follower into a commander, and an ordinary soldier into an extraordinary leader. The battlefield awaits, and it's calling for you. The 11 Principles of Leadership 1. Know yourself and seek self-improvement. 2. Be technically and tactically proficient. 3. Develop a sense of responsibility among your subordinates. 4. Make sound and timely decisions. 5. Set an example. 6. Know your people and look out for their welfare. 7. Keep your people informed. 8. Seek responsibility and take responsibility for your actions. 9. Ensure assigned tasks are understood, supervised, and accomplished. 10. Train your people as a team. 11. Employ your team in accordance with its capabilities. Leadership Principle 1. Know yourself and seek self-improvement. Let's embark on a journey to explore the 11 principles of leadership, a timeless guide used by military commanders, business tycoons, and even sports coaches. Our first stop, know yourself and seek self-improvement. This principle is the cornerstone of leadership. Just as a warrior sharpens their blade, a leader must continuously hone their skills and understanding. Why? Because to lead others, you must first be able to lead yourself. How to do it? Embark on your personal odyssey of growth. Embrace self-reflection. Delve deep into your strengths, weaknesses, values, and beliefs. Keep a journal, meditate, or simply take long walks while pondering your life's purpose. Seek feedback. Don't be afraid to ask for constructive criticism. Surround yourself with trusted manners colleagues, or even family members who can provide honest insights. Even the legendary General Douglas MacArthur, known for his strong will, valued the counsel of his advisors. Never stop learning, read books, attend seminars, enroll in courses, and learn from the experiences of others. A leader's mind is like a sponge, constantly absorbing new knowledge. In the words of the great Filipino hero, Jose Rusal, the youth is the hope of our future. As aspiring leaders, you must continuously strive to learn and grow. Challenge yourself. Step outside your comfort zone. Take on new responsibilities. Volunteer for challenging projects and don't shy away from difficult decisions. During World War II, Filipino guerrilla leaders defied the odds and organized a resistance movement against the Japanese occupation proving that leadership can emerge from the most unexpected circumstances. Develop emotional intelligence. A leader's ability to understand and manage emotions is crucial. Learn to empathize with others, build strong relationships, and resolve conflicts effectively. Did you know that the ancient Spartan warriors, known for their discipline and bravery, also valued camaraderie and loyalty? How not to do it? Leadership pitfalls to avoid. Arrogance, believing you know it all, is sure a fire way to alienate your team and stunt your growth. Complacency, resting on your laurels will quickly make you obsolete. The world is constantly changing, and so must you. 
Ignoring feedback, refusing to listen to constructive criticism is a sign of insecurity, not strength. In the realm of leadership, self-awareness and a commitment to growth are not optional. They are essential. So, go forth and explore the depths of your being. Learn from your mistakes, celebrate your victories, and never stop striving for excellence. Remember, the journey of leadership begins with knowing yourself. Leadership Principle 2. Be technically and tactically proficient. Greetings, aspiring leaders. Today, we delve into the second principle of leadership. Be technically and tactically proficient. This principle emphasizes the importance of mastering your craft and understanding the strategies and tactics necessary to achieve your objectives. In essence, this principle states that to lead effectively, you must first be able to do effectively. Imagine a ship captain who doesn't understand navigation or an orchestra conductor who can't read music. They might have the best intentions, but their lack of expertise would hinder their ability to lead. How to do it? Mastering the art of war and peace. Continuous learning. Never stop expanding your knowledge and skills. The battlefield, like the boardroom, is constantly evolving. Stay updated on the latest technologies, tactics, and trends in your field. During World War II, the Navajo Code Talkers, a group of Native American Marines, developed an unbreakable code based on their native language, playing a crucial role in the Pacific theater. Their specialized knowledge proved invaluable. Hands-on experience. Don't just read about it, practice. Seek out opportunities to apply your knowledge in real-world scenarios. Lead training exercises, participate in simulations, and learn from your successes and failures. Seek mentorship. Find experienced professionals who can guide you and share their wisdom. A good mentor can accelerate your learning and help you avoid common pitfalls. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle mentored Alexander the Great, who went on to conquer most of the known world. Mentorship has been a key ingredient in leadership development for centuries. Cross-training. Broaden your skill set by learning about different aspects of your field. A well-rounded leader is adaptable and can see the bigger picture. During the American Civil War, Union General Ulysses S. Grant was not only a brilliant military strategist, but also a skilled logistician, ensuring his troops were well supplied and supported. Resourcefulness. A true leader can make the most of limited resources and find creative solutions to challenges. Remember, a lack of resources doesn't have to mean a lack of results. How not to do it? Leadership missteps. Micromanagement. Trying to control every detail demonstrates a lack of trust in your team and stifles initiative. Ignoring expertise. Dismissing the advice of experts. Or failing to acknowledge their contributions undermines morale and can lead to disastrous decisions. Failing to adapt, sticking to outdated tactics, or refusing to acknowledge changing circumstances can quickly turn a winning strategy into a losing one. In conclusion, to be an effective leader, you must be both a skilled practitioner and a strategic thinker. Hone your expertise, learn from the past, embrace innovation, and never stop growing. Leadership Principle 3. Develop a sense of responsibility among your subordinates. Good day, future leaders. Today, we delve into the third principle of leadership. Develop a sense of responsibility among your subordinates. This principle underscores the importance of empowering your team members to take ownership of their roles and duties, fostering a sense of accountability and commitment to the shared mission. In essence, this principle is about transforming followers into leaders. When subordinates feel responsible, they are more likely to be proactive, innovative, and dedicated to achieving the team's goals. Think of it as cultivating a garden. You plant the seeds of responsibility, nurture them with trust and guidance, and watch them bloom into a thriving team. How to do it? Empowering your team. Delegate wisely, Entrust your team members with tasks and projects that challenge them and allow them to grow. Remember, 
micromanaging stifles initiative and breeds resentment. During World War II, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill delegated key responsibilities to his cabinet members, recognizing that he couldn't handle every aspect of the war effort alone, set clear expectations, clearly defined roles, responsibilities, and performance standards. When everyone knows what is expected of them, they are more likely to take ownership of their work. In ancient Rome, the legions were known for their strict discipline and clear chain of command, which fostered a sense of responsibility at all levels. Provide resources and support. Ensure your team has the tools, training, and support they need to succeed. A leader's role is not just to give orders but to facilitate success. Encourage initiative, reward innovation, creativity, and independent thinking. Create a culture where it's okay to make mistakes as long as lessons are learned. Filipino revolutionary leader Andres Bonifacio encouraged his Katipuneros to take initiative and develop their own guerrilla tactics, which proved effective against the Spanish forces. Recognize achievements. Celebrate successes, both big and small. Acknowledge individual contributions and foster a sense of camaraderie. During the Philippine-American War, General Gregorio del Pilar, the hero of Tirad Pass, inspired his troops to fight bravely through his own courage and leadership. How not to do it? Leadership pitfalls. Blaming others. When things go wrong, a true leader takes responsibility and looks for solutions, not scapegoats. Undermining authority. Publicly criticizing or belittling your subordinates erodes their confidence and undermines their ability to lead. Creating a culture of fear, a climate of fear and intimidation stifles creativity, initiative, and honesty. Remember, leadership is not about control. It's about empowerment. By developing a sense of responsibility among your subordinates, you create a team that is motivated, engaged, and capable of achieving great things. Leadership Principle 4. Make sound and timely decisions. We next delve into the fourth principle of leadership. Make sound and timely decisions. This principle emphasizes the critical importance of a leader's ability to analyze situations, weigh options, and make informed choices promptly. In the dynamic and often unpredictable landscape of leadership, decision-making is the rudder that steers the ship. It can mean the difference between victory and defeat, success and failure. Imagine a general hesitating on the battlefield or a CEO delaying a crucial business decision. The consequences could be disastrous. How to do it? Mastering the art of decisiveness. Gather information. A well-informed decision is a sound decision. Collect data. Consult experts. And consider multiple perspectives before making a choice. During World War II, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, meticulously gathered intelligence and consulted with his advisors before launching the D-Day invasion. Analyze and evaluate, weigh the pros and cons of each option, assess potential risks and rewards, and consider the long-term consequences. Don't rush into a decision based on gut feeling alone. The ancient Chinese strategist Sun Tzu advised, Know yourself and know your enemy, and you will never be defeated. Trust your instincts. While data and analysis are important, sometimes you have to trust your gut. A leader's intuition, honed through experience and self-awareness, can be a valuable asset. Filipino revolutionary leader Apolinario Mabini, the brains of the revolution, was known for his sharp intellect and ability to make sound judgments, even under pressure. Communicate clearly. Once you've made a decision, explain your reasoning to your team. Transparency builds trust and ensures everyone is on board with the plan. In the Battle of Thermopylae, Spartan King Leonidas clearly communicated his decision to hold the pass against the Persian army, inspiring his warriors to fight to the death. Be decisive. Don't procrastinate or second-guess yourself. Once you've made a decision, commit to it fully and act with confidence. During the Philippine-American War, General Antonio Luna, 
known for his fiery temper and decisive leadership, implemented strict discipline and strategic planning to effectively resist American forces. How not to do it? Leadership pitfalls. Paralysis by analysis. Overthinking and endlessly analyzing options can lead to missed opportunities and lost momentum. Impulsiveness. Making hasty decisions without careful consideration can lead to costly mistakes and unintended consequences. Ignoring dissent. Refusing to listen to opposing viewpoints or dismissing concerns can lead to groupthink and poor decision-making. Remember, as a leader, your decisions have a ripple effect. They impact not only your own success, but also the lives and well-being of those you lead. So, strive to be a confident, well-informed, and decisive leader. Leadership Principle 5. Set the Example. We embark on exploring the fifth principle of leadership. Set the Example. This principle highlights the profound impact a leader's actions, behaviors, and values have on their followers. It is about embodying the qualities you expect from your team, leading not just by words, but by deeds. In essence, this principle states that leaders are not just figureheads, but role models. They set the tone for the entire organization through their conduct and character. Think of it as a ripple effect. Your actions as a leader create waves that influence the attitudes and behaviors of your team. How to do it? Leading by example. Integrity. A leader's word is their bond. Be honest, ethical, and transparent in your dealings. Remember, trust is the foundation of any successful team. During the American Civil War, Union General Robert E. Lee was known for his unwavering integrity and commitment to duty, even in the face of defeat. Commitment. Show dedication to the mission and your team. Be willing to go the extra mile, work long hours, and make personal sacrifices when necessary. In the Philippines, during World War II, President Manuel L. Quezon demonstrated unwavering commitment to the Filipino people by establishing a government in exile and rallying international support for the country's liberation. Competence. Strive for excellence in your field. Continuously improve your skills, knowledge, and abilities. A leader who is not competent cannot expect their team to be. Gabriela Siling, a Filipino revolutionary leader who took over the reins from her husband Diego Siling after his assassination, was a skilled military strategist and tactician, earning the respect of her troops. Courage, be willing to take risks, make tough decisions, and stand up for what you believe in. A leader who lacks courage cannot inspire others to follow. Humility. Acknowledge your mistakes, learn from them, and give credit where credit is due. A humble leader creates a culture of learning and growth. General Vicente Limit, a Filipino West Point graduate who fought during World War II, was known for his humility and selflessness, often putting the needs of his troops before his own. How not to do it? Leadership pitfalls. Hypocrisy. Saying one thing and doing another undermines your credibility and erodes trust. Favoritism. Playing favorites creates resentment and division within the team. Apathy. A lack of enthusiasm and passion for the mission is contagious and demotivates others. Remember, leadership is not about wielding power, but about inspiring others to achieve their best. By setting a positive example, you create a culture of excellence, integrity, and commitment. Leadership Principle 6. Know your people and look out for their welfare. We delve into the sixth principle of leadership. Know your people and look out for their welfare. This principle emphasizes the critical importance of understanding, empathizing with, and caring for the individuals under your command. In essence, this principle is about recognizing that your team members are not just cogs in a machine, but human beings with unique strengths, weaknesses, needs, and aspirations. A leader who genuinely cares for their people fosters loyalty, trust, and a strong sense of camaraderie. Think of it as a family. A leader is like a parent, responsible for nurturing, guiding, and protecting their children. How to do it? 
building a strong team bond. Get to know them. Take a genuine interest in your team members' lives. Learn about their families, hobbies, aspirations, and challenges. Share meals, engage in conversations, and build personal connections. During World War II, British Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, known as Monty, made it a point to know the names of every soldier under his command, fostering a sense of personal connection and loyalty. Active listening. Pay attention to what your people are saying, both verbally and non-verbally. Listen to their concerns, suggestions, and feedback. In ancient Sparta, the agoge, a rigorous training system for young boys, emphasized the importance of listening and learning from elders. Empathy. Put yourself in your team member's shoes. Understand their perspectives, challenges, and emotions. A leader who can empathize with their people can better motivate and support them. Support and development provide opportunities for your team members to grow and develop their skills. Offer training, mentorship, and guidance. Help them reach their full potential. Filipino hero Jose Rizal, a polymath and advocate for education, believed that empowering people through knowledge was key to national progress. Recognize and reward. Acknowledge individual achievements and contributions. Show appreciation for hard work and dedication. Celebrate successes together. During the American Revolution, General George Washington often rewarded his troops with extra rations or time off for their bravery and dedication. How not to do it? Leadership pitfalls. Indifference. Ignoring the needs and concerns of your team members breeds resentment and disengagement. Favoritism. Playing favorites creates division and undermines morale. Exploitation. Taking advantage of your position of power for personal gain is unethical and destroys trust. Remember, as a leader, you have responsibility to care for the well-being of your people. By fostering a supportive, inclusive, and empowering environment, you create a team that is not only productive but also loyal, motivated, and committed to achieving greatness. Leadership Principle 7. Keep your people informed. Good day, future leaders. Today, we explore the seventh principle of leadership. Keep your people informed. This principle highlights the importance of transparent and effective communication within a team or organization. It's about ensuring that everyone understands the mission, the goals, and their individual roles in achieving them. In essence, this principle is about fostering a culture of trust and shared understanding. When people are informed, they feel valued, engaged, and empowered to contribute their best. Think of it as a sports team. If the players don't know the game plan, they'll likely fumble and lose. Similarly, a team without clear communication is destined to stumble and fall short of its potential. How to do it? Mastering the art of communication. Regular updates. Provide frequent and timely updates on the team's progress, challenges, and upcoming goals. During World War II, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill delivered regular radio addresses to the nation, keeping the public informed and bolstering morale. Transparency. Be open and honest about the challenges and setbacks, as well as the successes. A leader who hides information breeds suspicion and mistrust. In ancient Greece, Athenian statesman Pericles was renowned for his transparent leadership, openly sharing information with the citizens and encouraging debate. To weigh communication, encourage dialogue and feedback. Create an environment where people feel comfortable expressing their ideas and concerns. Clarity and conciseness. Communicate your message in a clear, concise, and easily understandable manner. Avoid jargon and technical language that might confuse or alienate your audience. During the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln was known for his eloquent, yet straightforward speeches, such as the Gettysburg Address, which resonated with the public and inspired the nation. Multiple channels. Utilize various communication channels to reach everyone on your team. Hold meetings, send emails, use instant messaging, and create visual aids. During the Vietnam War, 
The Viet Cong guerrillas used a network of tunnels and couriers to communicate and coordinate their operations, demonstrating the effectiveness of multiple communication channels. How not to do it. Leadership pitfalls. Information hoarding. Withholding information or selectively sharing it creates an atmosphere of distrust and speculation. One-way communication. Dictating orders without listening to feedback or concern stifles creativity and breeds resentment. Mixed messages. Sending conflicting signals or changing direction without explanation confuses and demotivates your team. Remember, effective communication is the lifeblood of any successful team or organization. By keeping your people informed, you empower them to make informed decisions, contribute their best, and ultimately achieve the shared mission. Leadership Principle 9. Ensure assigned tasks are understood, supervised, and accomplished. We delve into the ninth principle of leadership. Ensure assigned tasks are understood, supervised, and accomplished. This principle emphasizes the critical role a leader plays in ensuring that tasks are not merely delegated but are fully comprehended, effectively monitored, and successfully completed. In essence, this principle is about bridging the gap between assigning a task and achieving the desired outcome. It's about ensuring that your team not only knows what to do, but also how to do it and why it's important. Think of it as building a house. A leader is the architect who designs the blueprint, explains it to the builders, and oversees the construction to ensure the finished product matches the vision. How to do it, mastering task management, Clear and concise communication. When assigning a task, clearly articulate the objectives, expectations, timelines, and resources available. During World War II, British Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, known for his meticulous planning, ensured his orders were detailed and unambiguous, leaving no room for misinterpretation. Active listening. Encourage questions and feedback from your team. Ensure they fully understand the task and their role in its completion. In ancient Greece, the philosopher Socrates was known for his method of inquiry, encouraging students to question and challenge assumptions, fostering a deeper understanding of the subject matter, regular check-ins, monitor progress regularly, provide guidance and support as needed, and address any obstacles or challenges that arise. Empowerment and Trust Give your team the autonomy and resources they need to complete the task. Trust their abilities and judgment, but also be available for guidance when needed. Accountability. Hold your team accountable for their performance. Celebrate successes and address shortcomings constructively. In the Battle of Trafalgar, British Admiral Horatio Nelson instilled a sense of accountability among his captains by emphasizing the importance of individual initiative and responsibility for the overall success of the fleet. How not to do it. Leadership pitfalls. Micromanagement, constantly hovering over your team and second-guessing their every move stifles creativity and breeds resentment. Lack of oversight. Failing to monitor progress or provide guidance can lead to missed deadlines, errors, and frustration. Blaming the team. When things go wrong, a true leader takes responsibility and works with the team to find solutions. Blaming others erodes trust and morale. Remember, as a leader, your role is not just to delegate tasks, but to ensure their successful completion. By fostering clear communication, providing support, and holding your team accountable, you create a culture of excellence, collaboration, and achievement. Leadership Principle 10. Train your people as a team. Greetings, future leaders. Today, we delve into the 10th principle of leadership. Train your people as a team. This principle emphasizes the importance of fostering unity, collaboration, and shared purpose among your team members. It's about transforming a group of individuals into a cohesive unit capable of achieving remarkable feats together. In essence, this principle is about recognizing that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. 
a well-trained team can accomplish far more than a collection of talented individuals working independently. Think of it as a symphony orchestra. Each musician may be a virtuoso, but it's their ability to play together in harmony that creates the beautiful music. How to do it? Forging a cohesive unit. Shared vision. Establish a clear and compelling vision that everyone on the team can rally behind. During the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln's vision of a united nation was a powerful motivator for the Union Army. Team building exercises engage in activities that promote trust, communication, and collaboration. These can range from outdoor challenges to group problem solving exercises. The ancient Spartans, renowned for their military prowess, engaged in rigorous training exercises that fostered teamwork and camaraderie from a young age. Cross training encourage team members to learn each other's roles and responsibilities. This fosters a deeper understanding of the team's overall mission and enables members to step in and help each other when needed. During World War II, the U.S. Army Rangers underwent intensive cross training, ensuring that each soldier could perform multiple roles and adapt to changing circumstances. Mentorship and coaching. Pair experienced team members with newer ones to facilitate knowledge transfer and skill development. In ancient China, the legendary strategist Sun Tzu emphasized the importance of mentoring and coaching in developing effective leaders. Celebrations and recognition. Acknowledge and celebrate team achievements, both big and small. This reinforces the value of collaboration and motivates individuals to work together towards common goals. How not to do it. Leadership pitfalls. Creating a competitive environment. Fostering rivalry and competition among team members undermines trust and collaboration. Ignoring individual strengths. Failing to recognize and utilize the unique talents and skills of each team member can lead to underperformance and disengagement. Neglecting team morale. A team that feels undervalued or unsupported is unlikely to perform at its best. Remember, a well-trained team is not just a collection of skilled individuals. It's a unified force with a shared purpose and a collective will to succeed. By fostering a culture of collaboration, trust, and mutual support, you create a team that is greater than the sum of its parts. Leadership Principle 11. Employ your team in accordance with its capabilities. We conclude our exploration of the 11 principles of leadership with the final principle. Employ your team in accordance with its capabilities. This principle highlights the importance of recognizing and leveraging the unique strengths, skills, and talents of each individual within your team. In essence, this principle is about optimizing your team's performance by aligning tasks and responsibilities with individual capabilities. It's about putting the right people in the right roles, ensuring that everyone can contribute their best and achieve their full potential. Think of it as a sports team. A good coach understands the strengths and weaknesses of each player and positions them accordingly to maximize the team's chances of winning. How to do it? Unleashing your team's potential. Know your people. Invest time in getting to know your team members on a personal and professional level. Understand their skills, interests, motivations, and areas for growth. During World War II, General George Patton, known for his aggressive leadership style, also took the time to understand the strengths and weaknesses of his individual soldiers, tailoring his tactics accordingly. Assess capabilities. Conduct regular assessments to evaluate your team's skills, knowledge, and experience. This can be done through formal evaluations, performance reviews, or informal conversations. In ancient Rome, military commanders regularly assessed the skills and experience of their legionaries, ensuring that they were assigned to roles that best suited their abilities. Match tasks to talents, assign tasks and responsibilities, that align with each team member's strengths and interests. This not only maximizes productivity, but also increases job satisfaction and engagement. Provide opportunities for growth. 
encourage your team members to develop new skills and knowledge, offer training, mentorship, and challenging assignments that push them outside their comfort zones. Flexibility and adaptability. Be willing to adjust roles and responsibilities as needed. People's skills and interests can evolve over time, and a good leader recognizes and adapts to these changes. How not to do it. Leadership pitfalls. Pigeonholing. Limiting people to specific roles based on past performance or preconceived notions can stifle their growth and potential. Overloading or underutilizing. Assigning tasks that are either too demanding or too simple. For a person's capabilities can lead to burnout or disengagement. Ignoring individuality. Treating everyone on the team as interchangeable cogs. Ignores their unique talents and contributions leading to resentment and underperformance. Remember, a leader's success is ultimately determined by the success of their team. By employing your team in accordance with their capabilities, you create a motivated, engaged, and high-performing unit that can achieve extraordinary results. Soldiers, Today, we've marched through the battlefield of leadership, a terrain as challenging as any you'll face in the field. We've learned that true leadership isn't about barking orders. It's about knowing yourself, mastering your craft, and empowering your team. It's about decisions made under pressure, setting the standard, and caring for your people like family. We've seen how these principles have shaped heroes throughout history. From Alexander the Great to our own Filipino warriors who fought for freedom with unwavering valor. But remember, these principles aren't just dusty relics of the past. They're living, breathing tools that you can wield right now, today, to become the kind of leader your squad will rally around, your superiors will respect, and your nation will be proud of. Now, I want you to imagine a future where you're not just a soldier, but a beacon of strength, a source of inspiration. Imagine leading your team through the toughest missions, making the hard choices, and always putting the welfare of your people and your country above all else. That future is within your grasp. The 11 principles of leadership are your compass, your map, your battle plan for greatness. Embrace them, hone them, make them your own. Because in the crucible of service, leadership is not just a skill, it's a calling. It's a call to be better to do better, and to inspire others to rise to the challenge alongside you. So go forth, future leaders of the Philippines. Let your actions speak louder than words. Lead with courage, integrity, and unwavering dedication to your mission. For your journey to greatness starts not on the battlefield, but within yourselves. The nation needs you, and the world is watching. It's time to rise and lead.